oras tapos na rin ang online class namin Hmm, inaantok ako Tutulog na nga muna ako Kita mo? Oo naman, Ponyo. Tamang-tama, may story ako para sa'yo. Tara, lika na sa baba. Sige, ate. Hi, Hi kids! kids. Welcome, Welcome to Vineyard Kids Online! I am Ate Faye. And I am Ponyo! Oh Ponyo, kamusta ka na? Okay ka na ba? Hmm, okay na po ako, Ate Faye. Salamat po kanina. Buti naman. Marita ko, Ponyo, nag-online class ka na. Kamusta ka naman sa online classes niyo? Okay naman po, ate. Nakagawa ay nakapagpasa na rin po ako ng assignments ko. Wow, that's good, Ponyo. Ano bang favorite subject mo? Science po, ate. Kasi gusto ko pong maging doktor para pagalingin ng mga may sakit. Wow, magiging doktor, Ponyo, na palang tawag ko sa'yo in the future. <laughs> Alam mo bang may kilala akong isang doktor na napakaraming napagaling na may sakit? Wow! Isa na doon ang isang lalaking bulag na nakakita dahil kanyang napagaling. Wow! Ang galing! Pwede ka po ba siya makilala, ate? I'm sure marami ako matututunan sa kanya. Oo naman, Ponyo. Pero bago yan, let's pray first. Ponyo, can you pray for us? Oo naman po, ate! Let us close our eyes and bow our heads. Lord, thank you for this day and thank you for taking care of our families. Please guide us, Lord, for our lesson for today. In Jesus' name, Amen! amen! O Ponyo, tara, kilalanin na natin siya sa ating story. Stories of the Bible Jesus Heals a Man Born Blind this is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, He taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey everyone. One day, Jesus was walking with His disciples and He saw a man who was born blind. His disciples wondered whose fault it was that this man was blind. Jesus told them it was not because anyone sinned, but rather it was because the power of God could be shown through this man's life. Then Jesus spit on the ground and made mud. He spread the mud over the blind man's eyes and told him, Go wash yourself in the pool of Siloam. So the man went and did as Jesus said, and he could see. Wow! The man's neighbors and others who knew him as the blind man wondered if this was the same man. Is that the same guy? No way! They said, no, he just looks like him. Hey! No, can't be! But the blind man kept saying, yes, it's me! So the people asked, who healed you? What happened? And the man told them all that Jesus had done for him. The people asked, Where is Jesus now? But the man didn't know. So the people took the man to the Pharisees because it was the Sabbath, the day of rest, and they thought Jesus shouldn't have made mud and healed the man on the Sabbath. The Pharisees asked the man so many questions. What's going on? And he answered them, 
I was blind, but now I can see. The Pharisees kept asking more questions. They even brought the man's parents in to ask them questions, but they wouldn't answer because they were afraid of the Pharisees. Finally, the man had enough and yelled, Look, I told you once, why do you want to hear it again? If this man were not from God, he couldn't have made me see. The Pharisees were so mad at the man for saying this that they threw him out of the synagogue. Jesus heard what happened oh, hi there. and he found the man and they asked him, Do you believe in the Son of Man? The man answered, Who is he, sir? I want to believe in him. You have seen Jesus and he is speaking to you. Wow. Yes, Lord, I believed. And he worshipped Jesus. Ah! Opo, nyo, may natutunan ka ba sa ating story? Opo, ate! Natutunan ko po na Jesus is our great healer! Kaya kids, kapag may sakit tayo or ang ating family members at friends, ipag-pray natin sila kay Jesus Mama. because He has the power to heal all, all our sickness. sickness! Kaya ang memory verse natin for today ay Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. Jesus, Jesus said to him, said to him, I will come, I will come, and heal him. And heal him. O kids, kaya niya bang sumabay sa amin ni Ponyo? Matthew chapter 8, verse 7. Jesus, Jesus, said to him, said to him, I will come, I will come, and heal him. And heal him. Yay! Yay! Patulong kay mama, papa, ate, at kuya. O, simulan na natin. Gagawa muna tayo ng cross para simbol ng kalusugan. 
Pwede kayong mag-trace kung hindi nyo kayang mag-drawing. Tapos, gupitin na natin yung cross. Nakagawa na tayo ng cross. Ngayon, lalagay naman natin siya sa gitna nung magiging doctor sa bag natin. Ayan, nalagay na natin yung cross. Ngayon naman, gagawa tayo ng hawakan. Gumupit kayo ng isang circle. Kapag natapos nyo ng gupitin yung circle, gumawa naman kayo ng isang circle sa loob. Gupitin naman natin siya sa gitna. Kapag natapos nyo na siyang gupitin sa gitna, gupitin natin siya ng payu. natin siya doon sa taas ng bag. Ngayon naman, maglalagay tayo ng mga gusto nating ipag-pray kay Jesus. Okay. Una, idikit natin yung papel. Pwede rin natin siyang lagyan ng ating memory verse. At pwede rin lating lagyan ng, ng kung ano bang nakikita natin sa doctor's bag tulad ng bulak, ng cotton buds, ng stethoscope, at ng banding. Ganito na ang kakalabasan ng ating doctor's bag. Ayan, gumawa ako ng drawing ng Holy Bible na may verse sa loob. Yan yung ating memory verse kanina. Tapos, naglagay ako ng isang colored paper na nakalagay, Jesus, please heal. At pwede nyo siyang lagyan ng pwedeng may ate o kaya... My friend, kung sino yung nangangailangan ng healing kay Jesus. Pwede kayo maging creative. Pwede nyo siyang kulayan. Thank you kids for watching our episode for today. Always remember, take your vitamins, eat healthy foods, and wash your hands. Stay home, stay safe! Yay! Yay!